One of the questions that I get asked the most as a magician is how I learned my craft. How is it that I've learned to be such a great magician throughout all these years? And the honest secret is that I have a mentor. We go back and forth in the DMs on email and he helps me out with my card tricks and with my other problems. So today I'm gonna to show you guys something that I've been working on really hard with my mentor and hopefully it might impress you guys. So here's a trick, it's a very simple one. The cards are mixed and shuffled to the content of a participant and all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is you're gonna try to influence the spectator to help you out here by having them try to cut to the four aces. So uh, sir, I'm gonna run through the cards like this. I want you to call stop anytime you want. Right there, good eye, beautiful. Beautiful, sir, that's one packet. Go ahead, why don't we do it again? Right there, great eye, excellent, sir. Why don't you do it one more time here, sir? Just call stop anytime you want. Beautiful, sir. We have cut the four packets that are very out of focus because of the small size of the focus box on this Canon M50, but that's fine. That's okay, we could adjust, sir. Now you could have called stop anywhere you wanted. You mixed the deck, you shuffled. Sir, I have managed to influence you to pick the four aces. See, look, watch. Right there, sir. The ace of... Um, Man, boy, I can't believe this happened again. This is unbelievable. One ace, the four of clubs, the six of spades. That's not even close. My mentor was just telling me this. He was saying to avoid this exact same situation. No, look, seriously, he sent me an email about this exact same problem. Let me read it here. It says, hello, pig cake. I hope you've been having a good day. As your mentor, your erectile dysfunction dot, <laughs> that we could skip through that. Uh, it's come to my attention that you've been failing in more ways than one as of late. First, you are overdue on your medication fees for the extra strength erectile dysfunction pills for micro penises, as well as the one ounce micro penis lubrication dropper that contains a lifetime supply of lube for your micro penis. We could, we could talk about that later. Uh, but here, look, look, look. It says, as far as your magic tricks are concerned, you have really been a disappointment in that endeavor as well. You keep trying to do that trick where you make the participant, that's you, cut to the four aces. Instead, they always end up cutting to one ace, the four of clubs, the six of spades, and the seven of hearts. When will you learn that that won't impress anyone? Sincerely uh, disappointed. This episode is, of course, sponsored by the Pay Cake Magic Academy. $5 a month gets you two videos every single week on over card stuff, coin stuff. You get access to over 700 videos the moment you join because you also get access to the piggybacker tier of videos, which is just a dollar a month. But you automatically get enrolled if you join the $5 tier, which is a basic card and coin academy. You get access to 700 videos because I post four videos every single week. Four videos a week. That's ridiculous. Who else does that? No one else. This guy. This guy, some people do a video a month and they get away with it. Not old piggy here. I go for quantity instead of qu quality. I go for quantity and quality. But check it out, help me out, help yourself out. The link is in the description below. So that's a fun one, right? That's a fun one. It's a presentation for a ace cutting routine. We've all seen different ways to cut the aces and this is just a presentational ploy. This is just another way to present it and it's definitely a fun thing to do with the right participants. So let's get right into the nitty gritty of it, boys and 3% uh, girls, actually 9% girls, but it might just be uh, people using their mom's YouTube accounts. So the setup for this is very simple. You're just gonna take an ace followed by three cards that you are going to predict. That's it. That's gonna get on top of the deck. The rest of the deck is an ordinary mixed shuffled deck of playing cards. Then you need to send an email. If you want, you could go as far as making a phony email and then sending it to you if you wanna have that funny email link that the uh, person happens to send you from. However, you don't need to do that. You could just send an email to yourself. In this case, that's exactly what I've done. And you could show it to the spectator beforehand. So you could say, oh, my mentor has actually been trying to help me out through um, my magic process. Look, he just sent me an email as a matter of fact, and uh, hopefully this trick is gonna work uh, because we've been working on it pretty hard. So uh, can, you, can you help me with this? And of course the spectator is gonna say yes in your pathetic attempts to try to get inside of their pants. Now, if you want the uh, spectator to be able to shuffle the deck, you just do this ploy, which is one of my favorite ploys. I've taught this before. It's a wonderful little, wonderful little idea here, uh, even though there's nothing little about me or my body whatsoever. But what you're gonna do here 
is you're just simply gonna have those cards reversed in the back. So right now those cards are reversed in the back. These go inside of the card box. I take these bad boys out and now I could just hang chunks of cards to the spectator for them to mix. So the spectator is mixing these little chunks. You take the chunks back and you place it face down on the bottom of the deck. What does that do boys? It places your dirty disgusting stack amongst the cards they just mixed. So when you hand them another chunk of cards, guess what? It doesn't matter. They can mix those cards until the cows come home, right? <laughs> Talk about dated references. Am I right, guys? Hit a like button if you get that reference when the cows come home and you're over the age of 50. So you're going to do this until you see a face down card. So you're going to keep spreading until you see a face down card. And then that lets you know that that's the original top four cards of the deck. So we have the ace, we have the four, the six, and the seven or whatever cards that you used. Now, honestly here, you can use whatever ace cutting routine that you know. If you know an ace cutting routine already, if you already have one, that's cool. But here, all I did was just a simple series of milk shuffles. That's all I did. It, it sounds sexual, honestly, a little bit, uh, but it's not sexual at all. It's a milk shuffle. All you're doing is you're taking your deck of cards, you're holding it in overhand grip, and all you're gonna do is put pressure with your thumb and your fingers. Boys, magic's not hard. You don't need a mentor. You don't need anybody to guide you. All you need is me. So you're gonna press with your thumb and your fingers. And all that's gonna happen is that when you press, you're gonna come up for a shuffle, but because you're pressing, it's gonna have that first card and that last card be the first cards that you mix. So right now that ace is actually in the back. So I could shuffle these cards again until the cows come home. And it doesn't matter because I still have my ace at the end of the packet. So now at this point, the spectator calls stop anywhere they want. I'm just simply going to revolve this packet and drop it on the table, making sure that it's right outside of the focus box of this fucking camera. So the next one is the same exact thing. I'm just pressing with my finger as I shuffle the cards, having them call stop anywhere they want. And then I repeat this one last time. You don't even need to do this four times. You just need to do it three times as you're going to see right here. But all I'm doing once again is I'm pressing with my thumb. You don't want to you don't want a distinctive sharp sound, but you just want to casually shuffle the cards and have them call stop anywhere they want. So right now, wherever they call stop, I'm just simply going to revolve this one and then revolve this one. So now I have four packets on the table, baby. Look at this wonderful situation that we find ourselves in. We have the ace, the four, the six, and the seven already there in the same order. In the same order. How strong can it get? So at this point, you're going to pretend to have a little bit of a jubilation, some excitement. You, you turn this card over and it's an ace. You're excited. You told them what you were going to do ahead of time. You're going to make them cut to the aces. You cut to an ace. That's tremendous. Then you turn this card over and you get increasingly angry. If you want, you could flip the table and you go the four, the six, the seven. This is outrageous. My mentor just told me about this. Gosh, he's always right. And at this point, you could bring out the email that you called back to in the beginning of the actual trick itself. So you could bring in the email, you could show it to them, you could read it with them. So you're not just reading it out loud and then miscalling the cards, which now in hindsight, thinking about it, you could probably get away with having any cards out and then miscalling it in the email. But if you really wanna be sure about your method, make sure to pre-write your, your email here. You could read it out. It's a funny little bit with the erectile dysfunction, which is a joke, by the way. My penis is more than functional and definitely not a micro penis. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes for the video, right boys? Uh, but then the rest of it, you have a prediction here. So you say you keep trying to do that trick where you make the participant cut to the four aces, but instead they always end up cutting to one ace then the four of clubs, the six of spades, and the seven of hearts. That won't impress anyone sincerely disappointed. A wonderful line there. And you have this wonderful trick where you manage to predict it even though you weren't trying to do that. Instead, magicians choose to get all hot and bothered when it comes to terrible tricks that, I don't know, are overly complicated. This is simple, it hits hard. You could have the uh, prediction on your phone and you could grab it anytime. Just call the cards on top of the deck, do that little shuffle. They think they shuffle the deck. Really, the cards aren't mixed. The only cards that are mixed are the cards underneath your stack. Do it. But apart from that, uh, I think that this was a great one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are still uh, listening to me after I've been dismissive here towards the tail end of the video and uh, you guys have stuck around and for those of you that stuck around you get uh i don't know a little bit of by play here at the end of the video you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of me right 
Uh, I, I threw up the other day because I had three Trulies. If you're unfamiliar with Trulies, they're, um, they're seltzer. It's hard seltzer, essentially. 5% APV and uh, I threw it up because my tolerance is now zero thanks to COVID-19 and the, uh, the panoramic. So I really appreciate that. However, yesterday I feel proud of myself. I had three Bud Lights watching uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania, that's, that's what I watched uh, yesterday. Uh, not to date myself, but I mean, you gotta combine virginities, right? Imagine you have the virginity of magic. I got the virginity of WrestleMania. Watched Roman Reigns hold that belt up. I drink his bath water. Um, but apart from that, man, uh, cheese is good. Cheese is really good. 